Now that's a lot of presents. So this is Laura, my wife, Hi. who until yesterday was a slumming work consultant. She has left that and all this are tokens of gratitude from her members. So we're going to go through all these and Laura will try to explain. Not who uh, who personally purchased these, but which groups maybe. So first thing first is treat bag. That's one of my members on a Saturday morning um, for her slumber of the week basket. She always brings in this wee treat bag, and I've always been jealous of the slumber of the week getting it. So that's what she brought me yesterday. What's in that? Loads of different treats, all low sin, and there's even a sneaky bottle of recycle in there as well. Some kinders, I see rugby. Yeah, flops. I see fudge. No, it's a wee fizz up on. Just everything. There's sham cream, Thanks. there's loads of stuff, there's everything on there. That will keep me going quite a while. You'll need a hand heat that. Reagan. Okay, next thing we have is this Disney mug. Little Disney mug with Minnie Mouse on it. <laughs> and squashies. My members know me so well. That's my um, nemesis, would that be the right word? Squashies. Love them. Um, next thing. Some nice perfume. Some lovely perfume. And quality straight. Maybe get help with those as well. You think? Okay, these lovely flowers. I have never had so many flowers in my life. It's amazing. The kitchen it's, smells wonderful. It's like a florist somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, getting back to the task. Yeah. Uh, so at the front. Yeah. Here we have this. Uh, yeah, a candle and some wax melts, and these are actually made by a girl in Balmona here that she calls herself the Wickedy Wick. And she is actually the girl that's taken over as a consultant from me, so she has made those specially. So that's lovely to have those. Um, another candle. I haven't even opened it yet, but it smells amazing. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. Um, Ooh, aroma Botanical. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that one before. Love, compassion and healing. Rose uh, quartz. Right, going into the back here. Oh, uh, orchid. Isn't that just gorgeous? In a glass jar. I'm missing that. We have a bottle of cava. I will need to drink these all at once, would I? And then another couple of bunches of flowers. We've so many bunches of flowers here that I'm actually going to um, give one to my mum and one to my mother in law because they love their flowers too. And another bottle of wine. And another gorgeous orchid. Tuesday members and I get a next gift card I get a next gift card and I've actually already spent it and bought that gorgeous vase for some of my flowers next another little candle I'm telling you my house is going to smell wonderful what's the name of that one? Strawberry dagger is the flavour, the flavour, the scent. <laughs> no. And look at this. So, again, Slimmer of the Week. 
one of my Tuesday members had brought a little thing like this in for Slum of the Week. So beans, which are free on Slum Orange Plan for anybody that follows it. And then she knit the little tin of beans and how flippin' cute is that? Look at the wee googly eyes on the beans. I think it's just amazing. She did that especially for me there. So love that. The daffodils are out of her own yeah, garden. The daffodils, <laughs> uh, if you watch the video of me taking the dogs to Somerset, you'll see me starting it off by saying that the wind was the wind was very sore on her daffodils and I had to break the heads off some of them to try and save them. So this That's is where they ended up. Yeah. This one. That was more flowers and that came from my Port Rush members. Wear in a box but transferred them into the lovely vats as well. Yeah, a box very similar to this one. Yeah. And candle, yeah, and another candle. Oh, damn, bergamot. Oud, oud, and bergamot. Okay. Sounds French. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now. And more beautiful flower. Flower B. Is that the one about Zandel? Yes. Yep. Yeah. You really can't understand the smell of this this oh, unless you're here. Smells like. <laughs> uh, coming down to these. No needles are special. Oh no, needles, needles are last. Okay. This little one, this is isn't real flowers. It's like silk flowers. Um, a little arrangement, and that was from a couple of my wee members in um, my Saturday morning group. Um, this perfume and a wee glasses case and a wee card holder and things. They are all from this little company that's called Handmade and they were all from a couple of members as well and there's a little purse but I'm using it I'm using it already so it's not in the video Cover that one in the next one Yeah we did, spread. yeah it's the one I already spent um, Bayless and Harden, like hand cream, shower gel lovely wee things as well love the way these are all presented too I just love the way they're all presented look at those lovely little boxes yeah keepsake boxes yeah. what could I keep in those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, now look at this. How personal is that too? And it's a little mason jar and it's little lights with a, a battery. You can turn on the wee lights. And a wee cat on one side. And a wee dog on the other side because she knows I love both. And a lovely notebook and a pen to match. Okay. And the final wee candle. Now, this is Olivia's Haven. This is actually a local girl again that um, makes these, pours these candles. And this one is actually the scent of it. It's called Downhill Forest. Oh, that's what it smells like, isn't it? Downhill Forest. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. And Downhill Forest is only a couple of miles from where we live. Anybody that walks amazing. through the, the, the gates at the Bishop's Gardens and down into the actual garden itself, normally the first thing that hits you is the smell of wild garlic. And it took me years and years and years to find out what that actually was. And then these Very two, pungent. look, these are specially made for me as well. I don't need to even explain that one, because it just tells it itself. You may want to pause the video then just to read this, but... Yeah. And I'm the jigsaw piece that keeps everybody together. Or kept everybody together. And then the last little one, look at that. And it's actually handmade by one of my members. It's L for lovely, A for amazing, U for unique, R for radiant, and A for appreciative. It's handmade. Just a little inscription she's put on. Never forget the difference you made. Let's go see the cars. Let's 
start with these ones up here. Wishing you all the luck on the whole wide world. Um, if you want to read out who's the, who they're from? Just them, they do know. Um, I won't congratulate me on my new job, which I actually start tomorrow morning. Um, that was just a little card, just a funny card. Carl sensed his satnav was playing up again. Playing up and then there it was. They tell the story here. And moving across, another thank, thank, thank you card, another look at my new job card. Thank you very much card. So these are really nice inside too. That came from Fort Rush Group. They were a really nice bunch of people. Pleasure of sitting in on the Monday night with them. Now, down on the hearth, we have 14 more. Yeah, so, there's some thank you. Um, good luck on your new job. Sorry you're leaving. This one, it's like it's all my members. Isn't that lovely? Sorry you're leaving. Goodbye is only a small word, but it's one of the hardest to say. Yeah. And we have sorry you're leaving again. And it's just a little, a lovely little hand the one I would say. And we've got more to say thank you. And thank you so much. Happy new job, and a big thank you, and a little thank you, and then look at this one, look at this one. I think you need to read that one. I will read it out, I need to see it. So good luck finding a gang as wild as us to hang around with, Laura and William. Now William's my brother, he was as much a part of my grips as I was. Um, went to the mall with me, helped me to set up, even ran the grips when I wasn't well. And here it is inside. So this was William and me. This was William and me um, just the Christmas after I started. So Christmas 2018. Can you tell it was Christmas by my hairwear? <laughs> and the curly hair. And then he says on it, just to wish you both, Laura and William, all the luck in the world in your chosen careers as you leave Slimming World West Van. You both will be very much missed for your timely advice and constructive criticism, which always helps us achieve our aim to lose weight together. The picture below is the reason I want to lose weight and have a healthier lifestyle, to watch my grandkids grow up and be part of their lives. We are a brilliant wee group and always have a hearty laugh and enjoy the chat every Saturday morning. Candy cards from me, Brian, and everyone at Slumming World West Band Coleraine, March, April 2023. And then on the back of it, that's him when he had a beard. When's the next beard shave? Ha ha. And that is referring to William, my brother, um, is a volunteer for Northern Ireland Air Ambulance. So last year he grew his beard. Um, I think he started about, I don't know, I can't remember when he started, but he grew it right up until uh, the day before Christmas Eve and got it all shaved off. And my members were so, so generous in sponsoring him to do it. Um, so that is what the When's the Next Beard Shave all about. That's just a little bit of what I got and if any of my members are watching this, thank you so, so much to every single one of you for all the cards, presents, gifts, well wishes. Um, I will miss you all. But it's not goodbye. As Brian said yesterday, it's not goodbye, it's just cheerio and see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's a wrap.